To get started with whiteboard.chat, you want to click on Start Drawing. Once you're here, you have three options, Start Teaching, Start Collaborating, Manage Boards. You'll want to use Start Teaching. Your students, if you send them the code, they'll enter the code here and click Join. I'm going to click Start Teaching. Once you're in here, you have lots of options. So there's the Invite button, so I'm going to click Invite. And what you can do is you can copy this code and send it to your students and they enter that on that first page. Or what I like to do is I like to copy this link so it's one click for your students. Once your students have entered, you'll be able to see them up here. A couple other things you can do is you can do a video call. Let's say you want to do a video call with your students and talk to them. You can click this and you'll be able to video call on your screen. And for this, you can share mic and video so they can actually see you. You can talk with them as well. There's a raise your hand function as well. You can share your screen and you can open and close your chat, which we'll talk about in a few minutes. But I'm going to click end video. The next thing you can do is you can click new poll. And what you have here, you have a couple of actions, is you can send a link or you can send a poll. So let's say I want to send a poll and I want to go to this one student. I would enter my poll. So here it is. Click my student, and off it went. How are you doing? On the student screen, this is what it looks like, and they'll be able to click their answer. After a student answers, I'm back on the teacher mode, is you can actually see what they put for their answer. So I'm going to exit this out by clicking there. Some additional options is you can click up here on the different letters and circles. So there's two people in this whiteboard, but I'm going to click up here. You'll be able to see them here. If you use student moderators, you can go ahead and make different students the teacher, make teacher. Also, you can showcase their board that they're working on. And there's also groups here. You can also view that board. Or if I come back up here, let's say you want to delete that board, you click up here and you can delete it by hitting the trash can. Next, up here are some additional options is you can create your group board. So I'm going to click here. And what's nice is you can actually go through and click which students you want in each group. So it's really good for creating projects. So I'm going to click these two. I want them in that group. And I'm going to click my group name, group five, and create group. Next, you can create a chat. So I'm going to create a chat here. And what's nice down here, this pops up and you can talk to your students through a chat box as well. So I'm going to exit out of this when I'm done. There is the timer. So let's say you're going to give your students a set amount of time. You click on that little timer and you can set the timer. Let's say one minute, set timer. And on your students page as well, this will appear. There's the raise your hand. So if your students have a question, their hand, they can go ahead and raise their hand. So let's take a look at what this looks like. So here's the student view. They're going to raise their hand. I'm going to go back to the teacher view. And you can see who is raising their hand at what time they raised it. There's some additional settings as well right here. And this is really nice. Let's say there's some sort of um, tool you want to use. Let's say you want to do an equation or let's say, hey, they did a really good job on something. So you're going to give them, you know, a ribbon or a badge. You can put it on there or you can draw as well, depending on what you want. Next, you can name your board up here. So let's say you want to do first hour. That's the hour you're working on. There's the undo button. Let's say you didn't want any of this stuff up here. You can always hit the undo and it'll go backwards. Over here, there's these three lines. If you click on them, it expands this area. You can refresh. You can save a copy. You can manage boards. I really like the grid. So you can go to the grid here um, and you can actually go ahead. Let's say you want to graph and do things like that, but there's other options as well. Some additional tools is you can go back to the home page. You can clear. You can download. Manage book pause animation, move, select, tools, upload file. I really like the upload file because let's say there's an assignment you have a picture of, you can upload and actually see the questions and fill in, let's say fill in the blank, work through a math problem, things like that. There's the erase, the text, and the lasso. Next, you can go to different pages down here because there's multiple pages you can look at. There's a grid view. So let's say you assign different groups and you have different students working on different pages. You can go to grid view and actually see what the students are doing really quickly, see who's actually working. You can go to single view back. Over here, you can actually change some nice little things here, more personalized. So let's say you want to change this color, um, really up to you. You can also change your name down here. Let's say you have the wrong name here. You can go ahead and change that as well and some other tools to use.